Ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in-betweens, hello and welcome to Beyond Blue. I'm Computer and I think this game could have done with a few more months in the oven. It's a beautiful game, don't get me wrong, and it, I mean, it has a great story. It's a little short, but that's a, that's a plus in my book actually these days. It just has a lot of problems with the UI and quality of life things that could have been hammered out during a more extensive uh, quality assurance testing period, let's say. However, as I understand it, they were really desperate to get it out in time for World Oceans Day or week, which is June 8th until June 12th. And I guess it would be rather... Um, Petty of me to point out that that's four days and not a week, but never mind. Let's see, Inu, what are you? Chilean Devil Ray. Not entirely sure if you're the kind of uh, stingray that killed Steve Irvin, but I'll keep my eye on you, I think. Yeah. You look a little shifty to me. Anyway. The main thing that you'll be doing in this game is scanning things. If you see anything here, like you see this one with has that has a filled in white uh, dot in the middle of it. Same with that one. And let's see, that one it means I've already scanned it. Let's speed up a little here and see if we can. Ah, there we go. Here we have a question mark. Let's see what that is. It's a white spotted pufferfish, and I have scanned two out of thirteen. Yeah, you need to scan every single one if you want all of the achievements. And there is one type of uh, fish, actually, that is very particular in this ca case. And it's these uh, whale sharks. All of them, or most of them, I should say, have these three little remora under them. You need to scan nine of those. I have, but it took me about an hour or two to find the last three, because not all whale sharks have them. And if we go into the map, we can see all of the things that I haven't scanned yet here. Yeah, um... It can take a while for these whale sharks to spawn in the game, or they only spawn when you come to a specific spot on the map? I don't know. It just wouldn't show me where it was ever. And, uh, or maybe it was because the remora are underneath and I had scanned the actual whale shark and so it wouldn't show me the remora because the thing that I, I don't know. It just, uh, it was a lot. It was very annoying. Let's just say it like that. And I have another problem with this map. Let's go with the mouse for a little bit. Uh, yeah, there's something to scan here. It's kind of hard to see, isn't it? And that's going to happen a lot for you. And really the only way I've found to be more like certain that there is something there to scan is to move so that we have it down here because it's a little darker when the map goes down here so you can actually distinguish the blue from the almost blue red like and also i don't know how well this would work for someone who is let's say colorblind and there is no colorblind mode in the options at all so, yeah, uh, just good luck. Uh, I'm praying for you, essentially. Because there's, yeah. And also, while we're here, if I press here, I exit the menu. If I press here, I exit the menu. If I press here, nothing happens. If I press here, nothing happens. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. But, press there, everything happens. Also, in terms of the controls, they work. They're great. Um, it's a little bit annoying when you want to scan something and also 
move up, let's say, because you have to use the right trigger to move up like this. And then you have to use the right uh, bumper, uh, bumper to scan things. So you have to use both uh, index and your uh, middle finger to do that, which can get a little awkward sometimes, not gonna lie. And we also have a flashlight, which is like on by default, so you don't need to worry about that. Then we can press Y to turn it into ultraviolet, and Y again for infrared, and then turn it off, and then back to normal again. We can also swim a little faster, and I admire this woman's core strength, because she can do this for hours. I would probably be lucky if I could do it for, like, ten seconds. What are you? Tricolor parrotfish. You don't say. Oh yeah, um, there's an invisible floor. And if we try to go up... There's an invisible ceiling and invisible walls all around, so... I mean, that kind of means there's nothing to be really worried about in terms of, like, dangers. But I kind of would like to go all the way down. Now, normally, if you had any kind of experience diving or knew anything about it, you would say, you don't want to dive too deep. Well, they've added some science fiction elements to it. Notice how she doesn't have any kind of, um, well, oxygen tank, for, in for instance. Yeah, she has a what's what they call a rebreather. Basically, it turns, I guess, it turns uh, carbon dioxide back into oxygen somehow. Um, and you'll be using this for every dive, even if it's down to the sea floor uh, where the like thermal vents are, etc. So she can go anywhere she wants with this, essentially. So no fear there. Oh, here we have something more. Splendid Alfonsino. And it's not just fish. There's also other life forms you can find. And we get a log entry. Uh, this is another UI problem I have. It told me that I had a UI entry, but when I press right to open the science log, it doesn't actually get me to the giant clam here. Uh, it just kind of puts me right there with the Chilean devil ray. And another thing here, if I go up now, I go to the very bottom, and if I go down, get to the very bottom and notice how it's uh, cut off it isn't it doesn't do that if you use the mouse which i find a little annoying in here you also have insights which uh, contain like i guess it's blue planet uh, like documentaries i'm not going to show any of them because actually i'm going to do this and this and just pause it and this is the UI you get when you watch it. That doesn't happen. That the UI disappeared. If I press play, the UI is going to stay on the screen for the entire video. And it's going to obstruct subtitles. And the only way to get rid of it is to pause, but that defeats the purpose. So I'm a little annoyed at that as well, just from a... Like as a as a former UI programmer, it it annoys me. And while we're on the subject, there's a bug here as well. This load level shouldn't be there. At least I don't think so. It wasn't for the first, I don't know, five dives, and then it suddenly appeared. And I thought I could use it to go back to like dive one. However, when I did. I just got back, to, it loaded the level, and I got to stay in the level for one second, and then it just auto-ported me back to, uh, I think, sub D over here, or wherever I was in the story again. So you can't use it to go back, and I don't think you should even be able to see this normally. Certainly not during the 
story campaign, let's call it. So, yeah, and also here you see how many levels there are, so I guess that's a spoiler, sorry. And, uh, yeah, but, 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 after you've finished the story campaign, you can go into what's called free dive mode, where there's no story, it's just you and you can scan everything you want. Hello, a bottlenose dolphin. Hello, hello. I did see something here as well. Another puffer fish. And some splendid, more splendid uh, Alfonsino. And here we have some more dolphins. Cuties. But also kind of terrifying because, never mind, it's not a pleasant story to talk about. Now, um,. They can be kind of dicks, honestly, depending on what species you are. And yeah, I mean, it's beautiful. And for me personally, terrifying. And oh, yes, yes, there is one more thing I should talk about. Around here, you can't put any kind of waypoints here, uh, which I... Well, every map is so very small that it doesn't really matter, I guess, but it would have been nice. Let's go over there. Because the game tells you that you need to scan 19 more, uh, well, not 19 more, but 19 soldier fish, uh, that's a little annoying. Wait, am I going the right way? No, I'm not. Like I said, I wouldn't mind uh, some kind of a waypoint system. At least, like, after you've finished the, the campaign, the story. Wouldn't be too out of place then. Also, like, how does it know how many I need to scan before I've scanned everything? How does it need, know that I need to scan eight of those? But, um, I mean, that's... Lo whoa. Too scared. Again, wrong direction. How is this happening all the time? Let's see, am I going the right way? Yes. You get turned around, I guess, a lot. Let's see, where are we now? Yes, still on track. Oh, here we are. Yes, I think this is the place. Yes. We have some sharks here. They won't bother us. They won't bite. They won't even come and try to see what we are. They're preoccupied by something else, I guess. White tip reef shark. Yeah, ah, there we are. Let's go in here. This is a mechanic that you will see maybe once, and then it's never mentioned again. And it's a little bit clunky, because I can't move until now. And we have here, it's a question mark. It doesn't know what that is. And if I scan it, it's an octopus, and I've scanned three out of two. Yeah, I've already scanned this, and every time you come to this place, and I can't even open the map while I'm in this place. So, uh, yeah, as I was saying, every time you go to this atoll during the day or the night or the sunset, it will show on the map right here as having been not scanned yet and that's uh like for a completionist like me uh, or well depends on the game if i'm gonna completionist or not but uh yeah it's a little bit annoying frustrating even 19 out of 27 that's a lot anyway uh let's go into the sub and we have the button right there down to the right. Uh, during the campaign, that won't be there. 
but uh, during free dive after the campaign it is and here we are i'm gonna go over here and turn off this music as quickly as i can yeah um this deserves some special mention actually because this UI is a little bit weird. One, you can't use your mouse in here. For some reason, every other UI you can use your mouse, but not here. And uh, this list contains a lot of like copyrighted music. And for someone who's, you know, uploads a few videos here and there to the YouTube, um, if you're going to do a let's play of this, disable the music because this is uh, most of this music is owned by Warner Music Group or Warner Media Group and they're kind of litigious. Also, it doesn't remember that you paused the music or that you lowered the volume to zero. It'll reset every time you enter the sub and start over again. The only way to permanently fix that, and also like this is for anyone who doesn't like this particular music that they've chosen, um, you can go in here and lower it, but that will also lower the music while you're diving. And that music is kind of relaxing and good. Also, that looks really kind of nice. Anyway, while we're here, we can look at things. We, can, we can't actually interact with these things. We just know it's a live stream handbook. And that's part of the story. Like, uh, they live stream most of their dives. And we get some drama here, potentially, with the uh, papers about powers of attorney. Yeah. And we can uh, choose where we want to dive here. Again, uh, a bit of an inconsistency. I can use the le uh, left stick of my controller to go up and down, but not the D-pad. While if I go and check in there, I can use the D-pad just fine. So, uh, like, just small things. And again, like the UI with this uh, music player. Also, yeah, uh, the first time I opened this to try and turn off the music at the time, because it just wasn't to my taste, uh, the down at the bottom, the Y to pause, was the same as the volume icon. So, left... Uh, left stick, left and right. And yeah, to pause it, I just couldn't do it. I could play things, but not pause them. So I would have preferred if the A button did uh, both play and pause maybe, but that's, yeah. Also here we have a little 3D table, I guess. And you can see how many things you have left to scan of everything. And here we can see the remora that I needed uh, nine of. I do like that it's upside down, <laughs> even here. But yeah, uh, let's see. Orcas. Can look at them. We can see certain behaviors, what it looks like. Also, the background is. That's kind of both terrifying, uh, terrifying, what? Terrifying and kind of awesome. So yeah, um, these behaviors unlock the more uh, you un, uh, the more of them you scan. So, and I believe we can go down here and find a giant squid. And I've there's plus one in the game, and I've scanned two of them. So. That and the octopus, wherever it is. Yeah, three out of two. So, like I said, they could have done with a few, a little bit more time. Oh, I just noticed that, yeah. The character models, like, while you're swimming, no problem. In here, she looks lifeless. I guess it's because she's not swimming at the moment. Maybe. And also, these seats don't have any kind of harness about them or anything. Like, you can't strap in. That's dangerous. 
And while we're here, also, we can replay conversations we've had in the past and just kind of look at this, I guess. Oh, we can also find out uh, at what depth we are uh, in there, but uh, yeah, it, it's kind of nightmare. That's more nightmarish, actually. This this particular image is more nightmarish than the ocean is to me. Yeah, that's... Um, mm. I mean, for a small studio, it's impressive. I can't... I, I mean, I can't say anything other than that. But they've missed a few pointers. Like, for one, every time you take this suit off, do you really feel the need to put it back on a mannequin? Every single time? Yeah. Let's see, what else can we do? Let's go again. No, I can't use the D-pad. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, I'm using the controller now. I haven't touched the mouse or the keyboard uh, in at least five minutes, and yet I get the mouse cursor. Hello. Yeah, uh, that's weird to me. And now we're in the open ocean. During the day, thank God, because... Uh, we can swim down. And I believe... Oh, we have a little drone coming here. We can't really interact with it, and... It's got its own missions, so it's not going to bother us. It was during this mission, and it's the third or fourth, where I actually realized that you can check the map to find where things are that you need to scan. But then I interacted with something that uh, was story-related, and it ended the entire mission for me. So, yeah, I still have... Oh, you're a big fellow. So it just kind of ended it. So I needed to go. I need to go back and just scan the things I missed. Now let's see. Where do we want to go? We want to go here. I want to see what this is. See, probably that way. A little bit to the left. Again, waypoints would help. Oh, let's speed up. And again core strength like you wouldn't believe this woman does sit-ups well or I mean no probably she just swims if you didn't know that you could use the map to find things this would be very frustrating and it was in the first three missions Let's see am I going the right way kind of not Oh, here we are, probably. We have something big downstairs. And, ah, it's a bait ball. A corral, uh, all the smaller fish, so that uh, they can take out as many as possible with the uh, tail slaps. And here comes... Yeah, that's kind of terrifying, but also really cool. I mean, it's a beautiful game. I can't, I can't front on that. Oh yes, um, let's go into settings. I am playing it on ultra graphics quality, and I'm getting a really stable frame rate. Uh, and I'm like, my computer isn't really overpowered. So it doesn't require too much from your computer. Also, I was well when we have a hammer shark, and there we have you again. Yeah, it does repeat loop, if you will. But I mean, that's pretty awesome. Let's see, what was it that I? Oh wow, now you're way over here this way 
Is it one of you guys? Nope. Is it you? No. Wait. See, if you're over there, is it you? Nope. Ah, yes, here we go. There we go. Just eight more. Uh, let's see. And I can't imagine that's copyrighted, but it probably is. Those, is that a sunfish or what are they called? Sunfish, yeah. They're pretty massive. Like when you see them in pictures, just on their own, you can't really get how truly massive they are. And yeah, this place will change depending on what mission you're on. Uh, the bed starts out very neat, then not so much. Let's see. Again, can't use D-pad. Uh, down here in the vents. This place, when you start it during the campaign, you don't get a map, and you'll probably be a little bit worried about whether you will be able to scan everything you want in that mission, but don't worry. When you go there in free dive, it's perfectly fine. Uh, it's uh, You get the map and everything. However, I guess I can show, unless I scanned them all already, it's really, and like this is considered or called the midnight zone. Oh, I didn't scan you, uh, where sunlight just never reaches and quite a few of the whoa yeah these guys sleepy shark <laughs> the name somniosus pacificus sleepy pacifists i mean that's kind of, that's my kind of shark honestly but uh, the pacificus probably means it's from the pacific right Anyway, like I said, we can get the map out here, and you need to scan 12 of these. The problem with that is that uh, when I started um, the free dive of this section, I had a lot of things out here where I can't go, and it's these uh, sleepy sharks. It might frustrate you at the, at the beginning, but you just have to wait for them. Like you see right here. If I go up here, I just hit a ceiling where I can't go, but they can. And they'll pop out one after another for, I think it'll take like maybe 15 minutes for them to show up. So don't worry too much about it. Um, just they all eventually end up down here. So you can just uh, like scan them as you go and then um, scan everything, do the story. And then if you miss any, just go back up. But I, I guess that could actually be qualified as a spoiler. Except it's not anything to do with the story, just... Yeah. Let's see. I guess... I wonder if I can use this to actually go to the different dives. I mean, it just says dive one, dive two, and not like a tall daytime or a tall night, uh, a tall night time or something. But let's see what happens. Again, mouse cursor. It seems to have worked. Yeah, this is a beautiful game. And here we have some dolphins. 
rubbing up against coral for some reason that I haven't scanned. Oh yes, now I can show this as well. You have a little drone that you can use and you use it to scan parts of uh, sea life or wildlife. The problem with it is that the left stick controls where you point at the animal, uh, like going up and down, while the right stick controls pitch and yaw, but it can't go past like straight up and straight down for some reason. So you have to go around and with these guys, uh, I mean now I can kind of do it, but there was one... Oh, nicely done. Uh, there was one like juvenile humpback whale, I believe it was that just kept wagging back and forth and I just couldn't scan it. So let's see what this is. Health Spa, Gorgonian Coral. All right. That doesn't explain that, but fine. Let's not disturb them with some light. Yeah. Another thing, nah, it's not a big deal. Um, you see these, uh, this honeycombed like graphical element all around the screen while I'm scanning things. Now it's gone, now it's coming back. Notice how my character is in front of it. That gets a little like discombobulating when you're in an area that is very dark. Uh, and the honeycomb like element is very kind of in your face, so to speak. Salty fish, there's a lot of those. And especially during like during dark places, it's really it kind of gets in the way, and I think they should change it to be that the brightness of the honeycomb should depend on the background you have at the moment. So, like where my head is right now, because I can't use the mouse to point it out, where my head is... also, what's this? Anyway, yeah, where my head is right now, that's the kind of... like, that's what it should be at all times. Not where... what it is where my head is right now. That's too bright. It's too... in your face, actually. Yeah, let's see. That's chunk. Chunk. Chunk detergent, probably, maybe. Or milk bottle, something like that. Plastic, at any rate. Well, I mean, it is part of, like, World Ocean Week. Or World Oceans Week. So it wouldn't be... It would be strange if it didn't have an environmental message. Let's go up. It's a short game. It also doesn't cost all that much, and it's available on Steam and the Epic Store. And it's beautiful. If you want a relaxing experience underwater, I recommend it. If you want a more cohesive experience, if you want to be not frustrated by bugs and... Oh, oh wow, um, I almost forgot. <sighs> Here, you can save and you can load wherever you want. However, at the very end, when I finished the game, I made sure to save between every single free dive that I did. Uh, I was looking for those three remora. 
And then I decided I should check if the game had like a new game plus or something like that. So I exited the game, went to the main menu and started a new game. And it deleted, straight up deleted, two hours of progress. So yeah, be aware of that. Maybe back up your current saves before you start a new game. I really probably should have started with that because that's game breaking and just really bad. And there was just, they were just gone as if they were auto saves, but you only have the one auto save. And when I started a new game, it deleted that autosave I already had. However, there's no reason for it to have deleted like these. Uh, it would have been, yeah. This was the last save I had. And I had at least 10 more before starting a new game. So there was something amiss there. Um, I even have it on camera that I did save. So yeah, it's not me. Thank God. Uh, yeah, but I can forgive all that because it's a really beautiful and calming experience. Even for me that has thalassophobia, which is like fear of the sea, or in my case, more specifically, fear of underwater creatures. And that's saying a lot that I can get over that by, pay, by playing this, at least momentarily. Also, just to back up a little bit, um, New Game Plus mode, the game doesn't have one. If you start a new game, then you will have to start from scratch with the scanning as well. And so, with all of that, I've been Computer, this has been Beyond Blue, Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.